Good morning, beautiful people of God. This is Prophetess Rivers with another word, another message. Today, I want to talk to everyone about don't let your possessions have you because we get caught up in buying all this stuff and oh, this is on sale and that's on sale and you get it. But then when it's time for you to bless somebody else with something, you act like if it's hurting you to bless somebody else and it shouldn't be like that if you want God to continue to bless you then you have to be willing to be a blessing to those that are around you and we have we hold on to those things like if we're never going to get it again and there are certain things don't get me wrong that they do be cute and you don't want nobody else to have it so that you go out and you go get it but then if God turns around and tells you to give it to the next person then who are you to try to hold on to it because what God has for you might be far greater than what you're holding in your hand it's like have you ever seen the picture of the little girl with the teddy bear in her hand but then it shows a picture of jesus with a bigger teddy bear behind his hand and he's telling her well just give it to me and she's saying to god but i love it i want it i don't know if i'll find another one like it but she doesn't know what's in the hand of the lord and that's what i'm saying to you and i say this because one day a few weeks i don't even say it was a few weeks ago i think it was probably last week i was cleaning out my closet and everybody that knows me knows i got shoes purses in suits that's one thing about me I keep this clothes and stuff but God was telling me to give away these suits and stuff and I was like my suits is like a hundred and some dollars a hundred like seventy nine hundred sixty something dollars each I'm about to sell them for at least fifty or sixty dollars try to get some money back and God was like no you're gonna give them away and you're gonna give them away for free so I went on this certain website and I said I have free suits go ahead and come and get them and at first I was a little upset, but then when God told me to give it away, there was no question, no arguing with what God had for me to do. I had to be obedient to what God had told me. And I'm saying this because people wonder why they don't have or wonder why it's hard for them to get something. Well, what's in your heart? As us being children of God, we should be so knitted in the body of Christ that wherever we go, rather we get stationed to another city or we go to visit people, people should know that you're a child of God. They shouldn't have to question, is she a child of God or is he a child of God? Are they living their life right? You should be so knitted together in the body of Christ that people can see the reflection of God inside of you. You know, I was, and as I began to read the Bible, I was looking at all the different stories of the people in the Bible. And yes, the Bible says a parent leaves an inheritance for their kids' kids. But if you look at it, that parent's parent is willing to give it up so that their children can have it. The Word of God also says for us not to store up our treasures on earth where, you know, canker worms or, you know, robbers can come and steal it. But where your treasure is, so is your heart, you know. And if you're going to store up something, do like Joseph did in the Bible where he knew a phantom was going to come. So what he did is he stored up the stuff so when it was time to give back, he gave back to those that are around him. Some people are going to be out there where they're not going to be able to give back to you. If you're looking for something in return, then there's a problem. You should be able to give to a person without questioning or boasting about it or, you know, sitting up there saying, I gave this to that person or, oh, I'm going to make, everything's not about making a dollar on, you know. And the part that really got me, and I leave you with this, is in the Bible it says there was a certain man, a rich man, that went to Jesus and told Jesus, I keep all the commandments. I honor my mother and my father. I do everything. I'm, I love my enemies. I, you know, he was telling this all this stuff to Jesus. And Jesus said, take all your possessions and sell them. He walked away from Jesus sad because his possessions had him. Never let your possessions that you have, have you. You have to open up your heart and be willing to give to anybody and everybody at all times, even your enemies. Now, the question of the week is, is you are out somewhere with your husband. Shout out to my friend on Facebook. I'm not going to say her name because I don't give people's names. I have the questions. But shout out to her. The question was, if you were somewhere with your spouse, remember last week we talked about what a spouse was, but you could say your boyfriend or your girlfriend as well, and say you guys are out somewhere and somebody gets into it with your husband or with your boyfriend as you being a woman do you step in that's what i gotta say about that yes my husband knows how to deal with himself and sometimes he's not even gonna put himself in that situation to even you know get in an argument with the woman or you know whoever the female is but there has been times 
not with him but there has been times where people will just try to try you just because and at the end of the day that's my husband he don't have to tell me to step in for him i'm gonna do it off the muscle disrespect is what i'm not gonna allow that is my husband you are not about to disrespect him especially in my presence yes he can handle himself and sometimes a you know, he ain't even gonna put himself in that predicament. But if it was true, and my husband was somewhere, and a woman got out of line with him, I'm gonna put her right back in line. So the answer of that is, if he was somewhere, and somebody got disrespect with him, and he's, and it's a female, should I jump in? Yes, I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna be double dutching all up in that. You not gonna disrespect mine. But that's just me. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and all that you do, give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.